<clears throat> I apologize. Welcome back to I Need to Fix My Camera. Uh, games Revealed. I'm James Snells the Brink, and we are one community. Today, I want to talk about a shopping trip that we're going to go on. We're going to go on a field trip. We are going to go see what's new at Etsy, what's um, Amazon. We're just, this is going to be that type of stream. Um, I know that those streams did a little bit better. <clears throat> I've been doing more news lately, and I want to do a little bit more hands-on. We'll chat. We'll go see what's new. Won't be the longest stream. I just got back from a trip, but let's do it. And then um, I'm going to be hopefully working with Extreme Rate again to get some controller mods. So I'm going to do more projects like we did a week ago, which was really fun. So... Um, hold up. Hold up. <clears throat> Sorry. I just got done eating. I just got back. Like, literally a couple of minutes technically ago, and, and I'm eating now. Welcome, Wolf. C um, Comrade Jux, if you download a non-Steam game, are you able to bind controls to the game? Um, yes. It all depends on that stuff, but if you run it through, like, let's say, the non-Steam... Uh, game option of st like the Steam Deck, like you run it through Steam OS or a th sorry through game mode or through desktop, there'll still be bindings that you can do um, and utilize, I believe. So, Caitlin, Catlin, how is it going? Um, yeah, do, using a different account, huh? So, I know this is probably because I didn't like preemptively start this or get this going or have a thumbnail or anything like that. I've, uh, like I said, just getting back, just put my equipment back together as I was recording some stuff for an, a future video. Um, but now, oh my gosh, I have hair sticking everywhere. Now we're going to do our, well, if you guys have any more questions, shoot for it. If you have, what did you guys do for the fourth? That's a good question while I get things set up and we'll get into this uh, uh, field trip. What, anything fun, did you guys do for the 4th of July? If you're in America, if you're not in America, that's fine. Did you do something fun over the weekend, over the past week? I am curious. So, <clears throat> let's see here. I haven't done one of these, like, uh, Steam Deck shopping trips in a while. Oh, also, this stream is sponsored by me, my Shop Undead store. This is one of our new things from the Age or Ashes of Death shirt. I honestly love in this shirt. Also have the Walk With Me uh, Skinwalker, which is both a drink and a shirt, too. Loving it. Um, Comrade Jux, I'm asking because I was wondering whether or not if I should, but a uh, but a small keyboard and mouse for the PC depends on the game. <clears throat> Most uh, stuff maps, meaning if you, um, especially if it supports the controllers. So if you hook the key, um, if it's a game that requires keyboard and mouse, but then it also allows for controllers, like they offer that type of support then it will work fine with the Steam Deck no matter how you run it. If it does not and only has keyboard and mouse support, then you're going to need to add it to um, as a non-Steam game to Steam while in, like, desktop mode, the um, non-Steam game, or wherever, you know, however you downloaded it and whatnot. And then you're going to want to launch it in game mode. You don't have to, I guess. You could launch anywhere. And then they'll, well, before you launch it, there should be, like, controls and all that. And you can have it mimic as, like, keyboard and mouse or a lot of other things you can kind of mimic. <clears throat> I have a video on what accessories I recommend. I'm going to plan on doing another video soon. Um, I have a lot of videos planned. But <clears throat> in that video, I have a mouse, keyboard, and all that, so... Dak Smith for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, Viesta, welcome. Let's. Uh, we're gonna get on over to the. Uh, let's see here. We've got Etsy, got Amazon. We have got. I 
swear there's another one that I go to typically. No, we'll start out with Etsy. So this is going to be a very chill stream this week. We're going to chat, see how you guys are doing. Still don't know how you guys are doing from the holidays. But some of you might have enjoyed them. Might not. I don't know. Anyone burned down their house? And then also we're going to be, yeah, it's going to be field trip time. Nothing too dire. And, le- and you guys can also in chat recommend um, accessories. And also you can recommend um, <clears throat> news that we can look at today. As I was traveling the whole time. I didn't get to, to react as much, or not react, sorry, uh, plan as much as I wanted to today. So, let's go to Steam Deck. Oh, yeah, we can go do JSOX. I need to contact JSOX and get some of their stuff and do their stuff. Oh my gosh. Steam Deck 1 terabyte micro SD card with over <coughs> with over 80 systems and over 6700 games included Steam Deck purchased separately. Retro Arcade Gaming. I feel like that's a YouTube channel too, but holy shit, that that is going to get them in a lot of trouble if they get hunted down. Depending on what games they put in it. There you go, guys. <clears throat> as a purchaser, I don't think you're going to run into too many issues. But as a... Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's fine to have the emulator and all that installed, but uh, it has games included. Yeah, if you purchase this, I don't know if you'll get in trouble. But, uh, yeah, if you definitely... Uh, <laughs> uh, that seller could potentially be going to jail. They have sued people for far less. Welcome, 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 Vine Smash. Um, oh, that's right. And a belated, I mean, I already wish you a happy birthday, but a belated happy birthday again, Kate, uh, Kat. Vine Smash. Got tapes to te- uh, tape. Uh, t- so, a city of beats and dances of cards under the. Radar indies are popping. Yeah, so we did. A, we didn't do an indie Steam Deck sell our last video, but I wanted to do something easier for Susie to get a hold of. So if you watched my last, the last video on the channel, Susie did it. She did a great job. Um, maybe we'll do some indies in the future. But we want. I wanted her to like. These are some of these games are. Honestly, a lot of these games she's played, not all the way through, but she's played a lot of games. I have a lot of these games too. And uh, so she wanted to cover things that she was more familiar with, um, as we haven't played any indie games in a little bit, except for, well, I don't know. Would Layers of Fear be counted as an indie game? So, <clears throat> that is true. We could also look at the Steam Deck, ga- uh, the Steam games, that is, but, yeah. Com- uh, Comrade Jux, also, will you be able to record a stream using a Steam Deck? That is a very interesting question. Um, in theory, you can stream in desktop mode. In game mode, there it's really like you. There, I think there are plugins. I really should do a plugin series. I just never did. Um, with the Decky plugin stuff, uh, you can record. I believe there's a. a stuff for it i just don't think it's that great um i had say capabilities in the app i'm making i'm just dragging my feet right now because i want to make it better than it is um viesta scam go burr wait what scam you got scammed oh comrade uh, you, you could edit videos i've done a whole honestly i should probably do a whole week long um stretch on the steam deck like just by itself again um <clears throat> so we'll see but yeah you can do pretty much all of it it's just e shooter how do you check if you still have warranty on your deck um check your receipt it has a year long warranty on it well after a year then it doesn't the chances of them fixing it some people they fixed that but i've heard that they're cracking down on that a little bit 
Yeah, depends on what you're having issues with, too. They might correct something that might be an inherent issue with it. Um, never hurts to, to check with them, but yeah, if you bought it through Steam, then you should have the receipt. It's a year-long warranty. Fine smash. Seen <clears throat> more games included emulators these days. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, is this a uh, is this a scam? Oh, okay, I'm seeing that Viesta now. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a scam. I bet you. Well, it probably it's that or <clears throat> the games are like not the same games. They're like ripoffs. Uh, Loris, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here, man. Vine smash. Oh, I watched Susie's video. She's a great watch. Yeah, yeah, she's. Got a uh, honestly, she's only been doing a few videos, and she's got a lot more potential than me. <laughs> she can pronounce her words properly. Well, uh, I'm still working on that. I can talk fast though. So, <clears throat> a vine smash. I like how she has her mannerisms. Yes, we've been married a while, so kind of catch on that. I'm glad that's vine smash. I'm glad that's that's uh, something that you ca caught on to. Lumkey, welcome, 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 welcome. Look at that, Cat Smith for you. I've live streamed via my Steam Deck, but that was a desktop mode. Yes. Yes. Well, you can do pretty much everything in desktop mode. Video editing, good luck. As uh, depending on how big the video is, it can be kind of sketch in the sense of how long it takes to render. And if it will freeze, I actually, once you start multitasking on the Steam Deck, I have had a lot of issues with uh, memory store um, paging, meaning it's <laughs> going from, instead of using RAM, because the RAM's all filled up, it will then start utilizing uh, the built-in SSD. So. Lum key problem with the Steam Deck is, uh, Deck use Mesa, it's tricky to install the real AMD drivers that support OBS to use the GPU than just a CPU so far. So far, Mesa, OBS, GPU streaming, and no-go. Yeah. I've done something. I don't remember how I did it, but yeah. I probably would, like, if I do my challenge, I probably would still record slash stream with my main PC as I just don't want to make subpar content. Um, not saying that the Steam Deck can or can't. I just don't really want to screw things up. Um... Vine Smash for real. She definitely doesn't seem amateur. Oh, I should be glad to hear. She definitely has her issues. Uh, Lum Key, can, good so far. It's getting hot here, so you got to fan yourself. Yeah, it's getting hot. Um, I'll throw it in. I'll throw it in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, I'll just leave. Don't look at my messy desktop. One of these days, I'm going to clean it up. I have like five projects going on, so I don't. Uh... If you're new here, that's why it's messy. Okay. Lumkey, like, uh, like, you can. Do it, but your CPU be very busy, so limited what games you can play. Exactly. Exactly. The interface isn't good. I, honestly, they're probably using a very... These things are just cloned. It's such an easy... So these one terabyte cards, they're probably making $100 off each one of these, which is pretty good. Okay. This is one that I need to get. 60 bucks, but I do want to get this. It's a, I can 3D print it too, I believe. So I'm, maybe I'll get that. I'm going to be doing a 3D printed series or video again. So expect that. Um, also, this is my PC. So uh, this guy is awesome. Um, I'm, we probably have to be a little careful. Sometimes they can get a little risky. There you go, Wolf. You can need a handbag. I was kind of like, is it? It seems like it's going to fit the um, Steam Deck too. Yeah, it says it fits all the consoles. Um, that's what tonight's about. Is we're shopping. I'm not, I'm not going to buy anything right now, but I might buy something a little bit later as 
um, I got a little, I, I, I got a little bit of money to do some <coughs> investing in the channel so I can get more videos going. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why, like that, I'm also working on the Revealed Project. I took a, a little break on that. I'm still going to happen. I just, it's just getting a little out of control, and so I took a little break. But it's, I'm, I'm, I've been programming in it again, so. Programming on it again. Um, I'll have to do like a whole stream on that. <clears throat> oh, so, okay. Well, Cat, Chad, baby, welcome. Um, welcome, welcome, Satanic. I'm not buying anything yet, but I will come up with a couple of things that I might potentially. I will have to say, I'm going to put this like on a very reserved note. Don't take, you take too much away from this, but I've worked with Deckmate. I have like, I'm going to try contacting him again. It'll be the third time, but he does, he's gotten no contact and I've been promoting his stuff and uh, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe I'll get back to them, but uh, a little cautious there, caution there. Um. Wow, it's just like people love the emulation. Don't get me wrong, I get it. I get it. They have little bumpers. Okay. Okay, tell me, chat. Do you guys need bumpers? Like, the deck fits really well in my hands, and I have fat hands. Uh, BT Maverick, hope we find out that FTC Microsoft judge decision soon. I know it's taken so long. It's getting ridiculous. So. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, these are 3d printed. Oh man. I was kind of hoping it would show the colors. I just don't know. Does anyone need bumpers? Like. I could imagine this being too big for some people. Like my wife, probably slightly too big. Some guy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Why would I need that when uh, the default groups are great? I think me. Oh, well, here's the thing: people like buying accessories. People like accessorizing. People like making their stuff unique. This has 1,200 reviews, which is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This makes me want to go and sell this myself. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's as many reviews. Oh, this must be the store, though. I bet you this is the store. But, um, yeah, 51 for this item. That's crazy. Yeah, no, this, you have to, like, there just must be some big hand people. And you know what they say about big hand people? They need a big grip for their deck, so. Yes, this is actually. Um,. This one's still the deck top is still actually a project I've been I've been looking at right here. This one is still one that I am curious about, especially for programming. Um, at Brian, welcome, welcome. You're now enlightened. Ah, oh, I love seeing a brand new enlightened person to the group. Um, yeah, let me know. And anyone that's enlightened, anyone that's a member of the channel, let me know what you would like to see more of. I need to do another survey and make like and get more out for the enlightened. But I love seeing it. Um, Wolf, Wolf has small hands. <laughs> Wolf, you should do it. It'd be funny. It'd be like those little Barbie hands that you see people do on the videos. And you're trying to hold this deck with it. That'd be that'd make kind of a fun video. True Blue Magic Dude, welcome, welcome. Does it add width? Not gonna lie, the D-pad at the edge of the system makes it suck for fighting games. It probably would add width. So, um, yeah, is he? It, well, no, it's not gonna add width to the D-pad area. Lojack, where have you been? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have missed you, Lojack. Um, Yeah, Brian, glad you can make a live. Yeah, it's really weird how the live works. Um, sometimes, like, like I went live without announcing it, and sometimes people can see that sooner. If I, like, um, set it as a future live stream, sometimes people don't get, a, you know, don't get the announcement. Um, 
So yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the X rail is one that I'm trying to get to, I'm, but uh, we'll see. I don't think they're working with content creators at the moment because I think they've hit their quota. But that is interesting. So these are blinders. They're like horse blinders. So, um, so you don't get distracted. No, it's so you don't. You can see less light, right? And so you'll get a better picture. Um, horse blinders are like this, so they can't see what's on the other side, so they don't get spooked, so they don't kill their uh, the rider. Typically, I think for stagecoaches and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Satanic seems like the ROG Ally lost a lot of steam. No pun. Uh, from my understanding, it's a lot better than day one launch. I will be getting one someday. That day is not today, but someday. I have a lot of other things I have to resolve. Um, Wolf, you know what they say about big hands, big gloves, and you know what they say about big gloves, big grips. You know what they say about big grips. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it means that uh, you have issues. Of picking stuff up without crushing it. Uh, Loris, more is Susie and her gaming. Oh, do you want to see her play, play Dead Space? Uh, Loris, would you like to see that? It's probably something I could easily get. Uh, I don't. I got. I got her to watch a movie last night. Like we watched Megan, which whatever way you want to say, like it's a scary PG thirteen movie. It's cre it's creepy. It's it's eerie. It's honestly. Probably the way we're going with AI. Um, yeah. She like I think she likes horror a little bit. She used to not. I think she does. So maybe we can get her to play some more Dead Space. That'd be pretty fun, actually. Uh, Lojack, you've been hiding under a rock? Um, Brian, I get notifications from Discord, but either I'm in bed or working. Ah. Uh, yeah, that will do it. True Blue Magic. Dude, Megan is the best Terminator movie since t Terminator 2. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. It's probably one of the more realistic ones in some ways. A little too strong of a, of a, of a robot, but, you know, it depends on the actuators and everything and the, all the stuff goes, but, yeah. That is such a weird way to put it, though. True Blue Magic, dude. <laughs> Let's see here. Why does that not... Oh, whatever. Big grips, big slaps. Oh, my gosh. Yes, slap. Wolf is going to be sla uh, slap queen. Let's see here. Would be funny to see you and Susan Nader play uh, Seven Days to Die. I, she needs to play. She would love Seven Days to Die. She loves building games like that. She's played a lot of Minecraft and some and stuff in the back in the days. Loris, actually, whatever she wants to play, um, I, yeah. Well, okay. There's two options: Dead Space and Pro. Uh, but the other one's not as streamer friendly. You can put it streamer friendly, but then it's not as fun. And that is um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the game. I know she's been wanting to start that back up again. Uh, Brian, I like the ally. I've had zero issues so far. I honestly. That's what I hear from a lot of people. Some people, it, it, it's one of those devices that it just, if it works for you, it works for you. And that's awesome. Um, I personally would play certain games on it. I'd still use my Steam Deck probably for a lot of others. So partially because I do this, this, I don't, at the end of the day, if it's like Persona 4, I'm going to play it on the Steam Deck. With the suspend and resume feature, it just is awesome. Now, Brian, I do have to ask, how does the, because I, I have used... I've played games where the where the computer's gone to sleep and I've gone back in and it's worked fine. Sometimes though, it, it crashes a lot more than like so, let's say the Steam um, Deck. Catlin, <clears throat> uh, that Megan could go somewhere. She's a Buffy Chucky. Yeah, she's like she's a clone, honestly, but it's still fun. I need to watch the. I haven't watched the newest Terminator yet. I kind of, I like the, uh, the originals are so good. In fact, you're making me want to go watch the whole series. Maybe I'll get Susie and we'll play, uh, we'll watch them all. Uh, Brian, I use my Steam Deck more as Windows takes some getting used to on the handheld. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy is an amazing game. 
<clears throat> oh, Lojack, it is really good. Oh, Lojack, I didn't even know that you, I thought you haven't played that yet. You were thinking about it. Okay. It's a great game on the deck. It's perfect for the deck. I love it. It's a little ups and downs when I first played it, but besides that, yeah. Um, Let's see here. Um. Yeah, they got the carry case. Um, this thing, which I think you can get prints for, like a, a 3D um, model file that I could print that way. Um, mouse uh, jiggler. It's a jiggalo. Keeping you... Oh. So it like moves, so it keeps it. Why don't you just? That's so weird. I guess you could do it for like. Why? Why would that be a Steam Deck thing? That's so bizarre. Look at this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a couple things. We'll go through and watch. Look at them. I have a bunch of other stuff we need to look at. So I don't want to spend. We could spend all day on Etsy probably doing this. Yeah, I think they resolve those sound issues in Hello Jack with the Gardens of the Galaxy on the Steam Deck. True Blue Magic Dude, I've been playing Wolverine Origins on the deck and took a bit of uh, finagling with Lutris, but it works awesome. Awesome. Rachie, the problem with the classics, we were, we, it's suspense because of all the unknown, but now we already know what a Terminator is. We know the Predators, Aliens, and um, et cetera. The problem is they're, they're trying to follow, like, those type of horror movies, games, and all that. They're trying to follow too standard of um, a template, essentially, let's say. When you're watching uh, Terminator, you're expecting it to be going, like, the Terminator coming back or a different version of the Terminator trying to kill the main characters. They need to twist it, maybe not have it be kill the main characters, maybe not trying to change this, but, like, there's so many other things they could do potentially, which they kind of do, some of the new ones, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Rachi, the problem? Okay, yeah, yeah, we already read that. <clears throat> so, Deckmate, Deckmate's done really well. I've been really impressed with how well they've done. But like I said, well, I have some issues with it right now. Um... Tint more of those. I typed in Steam Deck. That's a, the Weed Deck, a playing card ga guide to cannabis. Oh my gosh. Um, a Honeywell thermal pad. Interesting. Cyber Deck. Oh, I love the concept of that. I mean, I just changed out my whole shell, so I doubt I'll be doing a sk uh, skin anytime soon. Interesting that they have the basis 65 watt clip in. I actually need to go back and see. Um, if I can find a better power supply I know, or uh, battery. I know this is a good one. It's a solid one. It looks good. It's a little bigger and not as, like, bigger in size and for how big it is to how much storage it has. You know. Windows 11, one terabyte card. That is a one. Okay, wow. That's actually not a bad way to do it. The Occult. You love me the occult. Interesting that you can buy two terabyte upgrades off of this. The Half Life one looks okay. Like it looks a little cheesy. I don't know if they can make it better. Um. Okay, let's look at some of these. So we've already looked at this. This one, I will be honest, looks awesome. I also like the forest. I like sunsets. This is one that I definitely would love. Um, pretty cool skin. Or is this a shell? What is this? What are you? Custom design Steam Deck skin. Yep, protective Steam Deck console decal wrap. Looks cool. It really does. Um, the Asus ROG Ally Port Guard. 
which is this right here. I'm surprised they ha don't have this automatically have a port guard, but interesting. Because that, that's going to collect dust like crazy. That's Yeah, that's a bad design flaw. I didn't know they didn't have a cover for that. Satanic, objectively T1 and T2 is the best action combo. Yeah, agreed, Satanic. Lomki, UK and EU sold out of the deck for a bit. Last I heard, they resupply UK. Not sure if there's out of stock again. Uh, is it because of the new cell? The cell is amazing. If you guys are watching this, you don't have a Steam Deck or you sold yours maybe for something else, and you want to get Steam Deck, up to 20% off on Steam Decks right now. Amazing. That Casmith for you, the JSOX battery is the best. Are you sure it's the best though? Even with people like reviewing things, like I would rather get an, an all around solid battery. I don't know. I have a hard time. Like I think JSOX does a lot of good stuff. I also think they have a lot of stuff that's just okay. Loris, I liked the new Predator on Hulu, but we need a new big bad. Yes, agreed. Um, that Casmith for you is a 20,000 milliamp battery. I mean, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. True blue magic, dude. That's not the problem for me. The problem for me is lazy writing, the bad action scenes, the plot holes, etc. For some reason, everybody wants to make Terminator into a comic book movie. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Lumkey, not a good idea to sell Windows 11 SD cards. Microsoft went after a guy giving away Windows DVDs. Yeah, but if it... So they could do it and not include the CD key. So the guy that gets it would still have to input the CD key. It would be more along the lines, you might be able to get away with it, saying, hey, I preloaded this SD card, and then I um, I preloaded Windows and some other stuff. It's not paid for. I can't sell licensed software like that. I'm not a reseller. So you have to buy a license and um, put it in, but it's preloaded, meaning I did a service for you. You're actually buying the SD card and my services, but you're not buying the software. Ryan, seriously, it's ridiculous. Such a large exposed area would rather have that that than a cardboard stand. Yeah. 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 Or so I got that port cover for my ally. Nice. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I definitely... That's definitely a big issue. Lumkey, by the way, there are pictures of Steam Deck with um, with a bit of a change inside. Ooh. Or is it just at... Is it at Steam or Valve's uh, website? Let me check that out somewhere. These thermal pads, I don't know if they're good, but I assume they're decent enough. This will probably be, like, so what you do is you open it up, wipe off all the thermal paste, put this pad on, so you don't even have to put thermal paste down as a thermal pad. And it looks like it greatly improves the thermal, same temps, but at a much lower fan speed. So you're, yeah, you're going to have similar temps. Um, it, well, well, essentially what it does is that it does lower the temperature and makes it so the fan doesn't have to spin as fast. Um, I would still recommend going with thermal paste as thermal paste is awesome. But if you needed a, um, if you don't trust yourself with how much or how little thermal paste is probably be a good point, a good way to go. Cyberpunk 2077 or just cyberpunk. Pretty cool. It's uh, it's pretty custom. It's uh, sometimes the the little text circuit stuff gets um it feels too old school, meaning it's just like kind of cheesy old. But it's always fun. I like. I still like this skin. This is the clip. Okay, so they have one for the Steam Deck, and then they have one for the um ASUS ROG Ally. I have a feeling that you could also probably print this yourself if you want. So there's also that. Hey, welcome, welcome, Necrosphere. Okay, I'll go try to find the link on uh, the server. Maybe. I need to get um, these goalie kits too. I probably will buy some soon, if not today. Where did you pin that? Where? Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, that is different. That is not a huge difference, but it is different. Interesting. So this portion right here is very different, the way that they kind of do this. I'm curious why they went this route, though. Confirmed. New Steam Deck. Steam Deck 1.5. <laughs> yeah this is the battery i've been recommending for a year now i, I really like this the basic the basis the basis 65 watt 20 thousand milliamp battery I, I like it a lot of it um does this come steam deck not included of course Oh, wow. Has a bunch of extra stuff added to it. Interesting. We do not own any copyrights, trademarks, or IP. I have a feeling, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to buy the, uh, that or they are a reseller with Microsoft and allowed to resell Windows. Let's see here. Yeah, we already checked out that stuff. Anything else here at um, Etsy? Uh, I, I okay. I will have to say that with the basis, the basis um, sixty-five watt. It's been solid. I've really liked it a lot over the past year. Um, I I had it before. Like I've had it longer than that, but it's been solid. I've had no complaints about it. Except for being a little bigger than it probably needs to be. Uh, Valve never ruled out that they may not make a Steam Deck Pro. Um, honestly, even if they did say that and they still made some uh, Steam Deck Pro, they can still make a Steam Deck Pro. I think it would be ridiculous if they just like limit themselves. Uh, Necrosphere, so well, sir, uh, trying not to lose my firstborn during the Steam Summer Cell. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Uh, I kind of agree. Uh, True Blue Magic 2, I've been using the Tech Smarter 30,000 milliamp battery. Nice. I've not had to utilize the full of my battery with before going. Let's say if I went on an airplane ride, like I went on an airplane for maybe f five hours, I was able to play, I was, believe it was Hades for like two two and a half hours before then i plugged into the battery and i pretty much got another charger like i was able to make it through just fine so i wasn't i didn't have issues if you play something super intensive then that's where it kind of is nicer so let us go and see here Yeah, I'll have to do... I'm going to be doing a lot more access... Oh, I'll be doing more accessory videos. I also will be doing some more Amazon Prime because that's the day is coming up. So I'll be doing a bunch of those. Like, well, a bunch of like two two videos probably and a, and a short. So I need to get going on that. Um, oh, there's so many... So much stuff JSOC's done. I do kind of wish I partnered with them so I could get stuff faster. I've, sl I've like... They'll send me stuff, but they're really slow to send me stuff. Here's their, like, this is a good deal. This is a full cover. It doesn't include buttons, though. So this is the big difference, and I do need to do a video on this sometime soon, but there is, um, it does not include everything. So just remember that. I will have to say the purple, though, does feel like a more deep purple, though, than, you know, yeah. Front cover, back. Interesting. Anti glare screen. JSOX is going really hard into the Steam Deck stuff, aren't they? This is one that I'm really 
excited to see how it works out the rgb docking station for the steam deck um super fancy has a lot has a you know the auxiliary port usb c which is one i've been wanting for so long looks like potentially two usb c's usb c in usb c power usb okay it might be actually doing more power so there's power and then there's just from the steam deck um or wherever potentially or it could be in or out i don't know um hdmi display yeah this thing was looking pretty awesome i really need to see if i can get a hold of them and get some parts i love the m.2 docking station that they have if you need extra space and have an SSD, it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing doc nowadays. Um, I am not a big fan of these shoulder bags. Just as a heads up, they're just not comfy. For some people, might be worth it. Um, and I the way I reviewed the one I did was it was good. Rachi, Prime Day, hip hip hooray! Oh, I know, I can't wait. Microsphere Brink finally got my Atomic Purple front shell ordered from JSOC. Should be here next week and dropping in the Rolly kit. Thumbsticks to do when I yes, I there's so much I, st I need to do. I have so much low hanging fruit of like content I need to make. Ooh, the black and co yeah, I like the black and purple contrast. I will have to admit though, my Steam Deck did turn out pretty sick though. Just getting that out. This right here. Let's uh react closer. Like the buttons, I do like the buttons, but I want Xbox 360 buttons. The multicolored buttons, I love that. The track pads, I do not recommend using their track pads. It just would not be very good track pad. They're very smooth, but everything else has really been working out great so far. Um, ooh, Unky, they make it grill in the dark buttons from another company. Oh my gosh, this but this the deck is going to be so decked out. Deck Cyborg, I'm waiting for the buttons only packages to come out. Apparently, uh, someone is coming out with that sometime soon. Yes. Uh, Kat, I know this is a Steam Deck stream, but what's the best thing to get my Switch dock so I will charge, uh, get my Switch dock so it will charge my Switch again? D does your dock not work? Does your Switch not work? What's going on, Kat? Because if you do, if you need, just need a deck or a dock, um, I really do like this one. Right here. This one right here, it's a great uh, travel. It pops up. It supports cases too, which this um, Switch one doesn't with the jumper jumper gate. It also has uh, the removable, and I, I have a video on this. It's the Skull & Co. Um, I don't, I need to get my affiliate link from them, but it has this uh, driver right here, which you can swap out for additional ones or just use it on its own. I really like that. Anything that doesn't cause e-waste, I love. Yeah. Okay, so you need a new cord. You just you need to get a new um, charging cord. I think it's 65 watts or higher. That's what they recommend. Low jack. Yes, Loris. Um, no, it's a, not a skin. It, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's like what low jack says. This is a case. This is the extreme rate. If you go watch the last the last week's stream, it was four and a half hours long. But I swapped it out. Almost broke the deck, but swapped it out. Thank you, Nexusphere. Honestly, I love. I am. I, mean, I am liking this. You know, I had to do like the purple. I mean, it's blue purple at different um, different. It's the, shine, uh, the shimmer kind of thing. Like you look at it in different uh, <clears throat> ways with the light. It looks purple, so. Games Revealed Purple, had to do it. Also, 
I'm going to be announcing this as a more of an official video, but because I know that um, Susie's been enjoying making videos, um, I've been enjoying them. I will, um, once we hit 10,000 subs, we're going to be doing a big giveaway. Plus, we are going to be dyeing our hair. So my hair is all wet a little bit because I just got out of a shower right when I got here. Um, so we're going to dye our hair purple. Should I dye my beard? Should I dye everything on my face purple? Like, I don't know. But yes. So as the 10,000 sub, we're going to do the purple thing. So, uh, Ray Chi lasted three hours and something. Got thing. I have gone to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Chi tried his best to make it through. Um, I have a couple of cords. Any cords that I've recommended for the Steam Deck, Cat? You can use for this switch, just as a heads up. Um, they have, I believe, um, it's the same wattage requirements. Yes, everything purple. I need to get a haircut. You can see like a little skin. Uh, yeah, okay, everything purple. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be. Fun. It's a. It's a fun. It's a fun thing. Um, at a hundred thousand. Purple eyebrows, we're going to, low jack, we'll see. Okay, yeah, no, we'll do it, but we'll see in the, how permanent I'll do those. I might do my hair in a, like, semi-permanent so it washes out in a couple of weeks. Eyebrows, though, we'll see. Depends on, like, jobs and all that, like, I'm, yeah. Uh, okay, if you're talking about the Steam Deck, uh, stuff, yes. It just, they take similar wattage. Um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with it. So, the 20,000 milliamp power uh, delivered 65 watt portable charger power bank, $59. Price wise, um, what make this one honestly looks like it's a it's it's like they sourced it from uh. What makes, is this because it has a built-in cord? I don't know if I like a built-in cord, actually. Um, I like things to be detachable, but at the same time, I mean, if it fits in there, then awesome. Is that the cubby for it? I, I mean, I like it. Cool. I mean, they have some good stats here. Five in, five out. It's going to be compatible with everything. That's an interesting concept. I do like that. Um, definitely don't think this is something you need to, if you already have something else, get. But it's an interesting concept. Assuming it works with their cases really well. Uh, the purple hair. Is it a McDonald? <laughs> Rachie, is it... Uh, smoothie special thing? No. Why would it be the McDonald's smoothie special thing? No. 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 It's not. It's because Games Revealed is a purple themed. Um, oh, pff, I'm sorry. Okay, let me get back from the React close up. Okay, this is what I was talking about. The JSOX 20,000 milliamp power delivered battery right here. Uh, wolf. Plus, it will look cool on your beard because it will take on the gray well. Oh, I'm... So, you guys do want me to dye my hair. Do I need to look like Barbie's, uh, boyfriend? Not Ken. What's a non-blonde boyfriend? I don't know. <laughs> Humble bundle choice this month is decent. Ooh, good to know, Necrosphere. If you guys have um, rec, Susanna, so Susie has a dye that she wants to use. She'll be doing the same thing because she was actually thinking about it anyways. Um, I was not though, but I'm always down. So if you guys have something that you'd recommend for uh, a dye kit wise, I'm fine with that. But yeah, I mean, we're trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the month, but if we don't, just whenever we hit 10,000, we're going to do it. 
Thank you, Necrosphere. Don't forget to smash that bell with your crowbar. Also, like the video. It really helps. All the chatting helps so much, too. So thank you, guys. Ken's friend? I don't know. I don't know Barbie lore. The new Barbie movie is coming out. Anyone want to watch it on the Steam Deck? <laughs> this I will be buying on... Uh, I have stuff... This coffee. Do they have some available? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Was not a set, uh, expecting the second. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so. They're going to be the same brand, but why is it 60? What is up with that? July 10th. Why is it four out of five? Kind of hard to calibrate. A good re replacement, but so, so quality. Interesting. I don't think it'd be much difference getting that than getting the Acnes. The acne version, because the acne version is sourced by Goalie Kit. They're Goalie Kits. Goalie Kit, Goalie Kit. I will, yeah, I'm going to get this. I've been trying to get stuff more for free, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get one. Thank you for <laughs> blessing me. Uh, Necrosphere, the Aqua song. I'm a puppy. I'm not going to sing it. I'm good. You're going to get me singing it. Just, uh, Rachie, just make a video about the ABK deal video and you will get a free thousand subs. What? Yeah, a free thousand. Wait, how does that work? I don't even get what. <laughs> Rachie. I'll have to look at that. Interesting. I I just make a video about that deal. I don't think I get the three thousand subs. There's no way. Um, <laughs> Catlin, that's funny. Okay. So the goalie kit, yeah. So we're gonna, I'm going to be picking that one up in the next week because I'm going to be doing a full video on that and how to do it again, like a, a guide. I do have a tips and, and tricks guide coming out for swapping out your shell. I don't know if it's going to be like I'll do a full guide, just walk through because they have one already, just follow it. But my tips and tricks are going to show stuff that's better than what they do in that video. So, Where am I going with this? JSOX. They have so much stuff coming out. It's ridiculous. The I don't recommend the cooling fans. I know some people will say that they work great. I don't. I don't think people have problems with the deck overheating. It gets hot, but this is just gonna eat up extra battery and bulkiness. It's just not really worth it. In fact, over like doing something like this, I would change out the thermal paste before you did something like that. Cat, you are totally fine seeing it all you want. Because we're going to, cat, come on. We're going to party. Let's go party. Let's see here. Um, They have some interesting stands. I, some of the stuff I got in my kit from them, like, I, almost a year ago. Yeah, almost a year ago, but whatever. Well, it was interesting. What? Oh, yeah, this one is an interesting one, too. This is their 2-in-1 USB-C to you HDMI adapter and charger. This one is an interesting adapter I, I like the concept of this one especially if you have like a kickstand or if you have like the kill switch and all that the, oh do they have a separate battery Oop. see i don't i don't own it i haven't been able to get a new uh, a kit from them in a while so i never did got to review it that's good that they have a separate battery once again 
I, it, for me, cooling devices like this are worthless. The the deck's already rated for the the heat it does. Like, in fact, sometimes having the higher heats is a little better for it. I know that sounds weird, but better for certain thermal pace and stuff. So, is there an under the desk mount for the deck? Yes. There it is right here. The concept's really cool. It's 3D printed. I'm going to try the 3D print one myself. I think it works. I don't they might have multiple adapters for this portion, but I think yeah, it works with um oh no, this what this kit comes with the the um dongle dock. So, there's that. Let's go party. So yeah. Um, J Sox. We don't I'm going to ask them for some stuff. Like I'll ask them for the full kit if I can get it. Um their case kit and all that stuff. A magnetic cooler. Interesting. I think that works with some of their back plates, doesn't it? I'll ask for as much as I can get, and I'll get. I'll tell you guys how it goes, how it works. I think they'll get. They'll, they'll get back to me on it. I will see. I think they will. Though. The problem is I haven't been posting as much lately, and so it's a little harder to get uh, stuff from people again. But Extreme Rate has been awesome. They did that um, giveaway that um, Rodriguez. Dave, I don't want to say. This, I shouldn't say the name, but Dave, David Rodriguez won. Congrats! I'll be doing. more. In fact, I wanted to commit to like one every week a giveaway, but that's not going to happen until certain financial stuffs completely over, uh, which is not yet. But as things come along, I will try my best. Uh, Jeremy Huggins, have you seen the uh, Genki co uh, Covert dock? If that thing had two more USB ports, it would be, have been the ultimate stealth deck. I don't know. Or in my honest opinion, in my opinion. Um, ooh, interesting. Is this one of them? So it plugs in. There's There are other docks I know that will plug in and do this. Um, personally, I don't mind these kind. It depends on what you're trying to shoot for. If you're traveling, potentially this is a good way to go. Depending. It is nice that it just includes everything, so it goes into the dot, um, into the deck. One cord goes into the deck; the rest just kind of works. So yeah. Uh, Rachi, Rachi, nice. Now I ha know what to buy at IKEA to make a clone of this concept. Interesting. Does Ikea have something that you'll have to, Rachie, you're going to have to share with us your little experiment uh, when you get it done with and it works. I'm curious now. Loris, we appreciate what you do, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Loris. You are awesome. You've been around to support for a very long time. And I, yeah, the reason, one of the reasons I took a little bit of a break on the Revealed Project is to make sure that I get back up into giving you guys good content and getting back into things. Um, but the real project is don't, don't think it's dead. <laughs> Definitely don't like, I'm still working on it. Okay. So you know, garb table, those. Yeah. Interesting. Co There's so many docs. There's so many docs. There's so many docs. The docketing is, is going to have, I'm going to do another video again on docs. Okay, extreme rate has all. I think. Oh wow, they've actually never mind. Damn. So the chameleon purple blue is the one I got. I love it. They added more. I'm gonna have to do a whole video on this probably now. Maybe I'll do a short. Thank you, cat. Honestly, I I love the community. I need to get back into the community more and make sure everyone's doing good so that. Well done. 
Um, if I was, so I have a second deck that's technically broken. Um, if I can get another, uh, case, probably would do the JSOX one actually. But if I was to buy another case now, it would either be, I like the clear slate black. I like the clear blue one. This is, they have a, uh, I think this is a, what kind of black is this? This is like a, not a, sh this is like a matte black. It, it's crazy because you're like, oh, that's like the Steam Deck. No, it's, it's got a little bit more. The white one is what I would do. Oh, hands down. Hands down, I would probably do the white or the, 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 gr the gray. I really like both of those a lot. The red one makes you think of candy because you can get the, like, you go to the store and you grab the, the candies that have, like, you know, the clear. Yeah, some of these, that's what they kind of remind me of. Um, I'm not the biggest clear case kind of person. Like, these, I don't like the way these look, the buttons. And um, the track pads, for sure, I do not recommend those unless you put a skin on top that has a good slippery surface. Why would you have? Why would you put them on and then and use the skin? I don't know, but they're not great. It's the only part of it that's not great. The wood one does look kind of sick. It would be kind of cool to have like a wood looking Steam Deck. So I don't know. The carbon fiber pattern, not great in my opinion, but I bet it looks a lot better in person. I always say that about the carbon stuff. Uh, do you want a banana? I know it's gold, but banana, banana, anyone? Man, I, there's so much video content I need to do. Let me note that. Notate. Do not. What is that going to pop up? Why is that not popping up? Hold on one second. I have sensitive stuff on my Notion. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm going to be notating. Contact DJ Socks about excess, and then I am going to also put one in um, video on colored shell replacements. Yeah, I want to do, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to do a bunch more content. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, cat, cat wants candy now. It's gold, but yes, it is. Well, that's what makes it kind of pretty is that it's, it's too flashy. I'd get distracted or get shot for thinking that I have a gold uh, Steam Deck. Extreme rate, you can do the gold, but not the chrome. Shame. I would not be surprised. Like, so a lot of these colors, like, let's say gold's new. Um, I think this green, this matcha mm -hmm. green. Oh, it's interesting that it's matcha. Matcha green, which actually, how that I'm thinking about this, I actually like this matcha green. Um, it's almost like a mint green, though. But it's matcha green, I actually really like that one. Uh, cherry blossom, I think, was existing. I don't think they had a, a matte black like this. And I don't think they had the blue. Well, a couple of these clear ones they didn't have a little bit ago, but they've added more. So they could add a chrome one. I know people are looking for a chrome one. Deck to Cyborg. Lumkey, add some Pikachu stickers, then the gold be on, uh, then be golden on the yellow. There you go. Honestly, there's a, if you have stickers, if you have a, there's a lot of stuff you could really do with all this. <laughs> They'll probably have a chrome one, though. It's okay, Dex Cyborg. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I feel like Steam Deck accessories. Let's look what there is. I, I do get contacts still, like, for people to, like, partner with to do like reviews on their docs. I, once you've seen like a couple of different docs, they're just all the same. 
So I'm a little docked out. I will still dock at times, like in the sense of I'll do more dock videos if I feel like something is very different. Um. Yeah, this is going to probably be a lot of JSOC. Uh, JSOC kind of dominates this uh, realm a little bit. Let's see here. The battery bank. Oh, Stream Rate has their stuff on here too now. Interesting. And they have discounts. I will have to... I'll have to... I'll add that to my recommended. So if you guys buy stuff, I'll, I'll have, I'll, I need to add a ton more stuff to my recommended list for the Steam Deck and to the videos, and I'll be adding those. So it helps pay for the, the channel and for me to get new stuff and try things. Um, what does TomTalk come out with? Do they have anything Steam Deck-wise that they've come out with recently? Because I, I really liked my uh, side bag. Or do they still have the same one? I mean, these are, I do like the form fitting Tom Talk bags. Yeah, they still have the same carrying one. I, I swear it goes up on price almost every time. I really like mine though. I am also very intrigued with this uh, travel bag. I don't know how well it would fit the Steam Deck though. Yeah, they don't really have anything new. Oh, that's another one. So Extreme Rate has that stuff. I am going to be doing a video, um, a stream on swapping out um, some shell. Uh, that's not the, not the PS4 shell. PS5 shell. So I'll be swapping out some PS5 shells. Um, I'll be, I need to figure out which one still um, that I want and let them know. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that is so sick. I think we're going to do the biohazard one. What? Because um, I'm going to contact them. I think we did pretty well with them, and I think they're curious to do more. So I could do the chameleon purple blue. For I could do... Um, do I have a full chameleon purple blue, though? This, one's all, this blue nebula is also kind of cool, too. Um... <laughs> Food butcher, don't be a dong, a dock docker, be a dongle digger. <laughs> hey, Gaben. Hey, love your channel. Thank you. Thanks, Gabes. Gabe boy. <laughs> uh, and I love your Steam Deck. Let's see. Rachy, this is like browsing the current Steam cell. There's too much interesting stuff. I know, guys. I apologize. It doesn't mean you have to buy it right now. It does not mean you need to buy it right now. Let's see here. Uh, Foom Booter, Lolly High. It goes well. Glad to be back at the live. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Gabe. Gaben. Lord Gabe. Uh, it's good. It's good to have you. Um, Deck Cyborg, if they came out with a biohazard shell for the Steam Deck, I'd be all over that. Okay, that at uh, Kesmith for you. Uh, honestly, Deck Cyborg, I probably would be too. I just swapped out my shell, but if they came out with a bio, honestly, you just have to come out with a couple of different ones. Half like a good Half Life one, Resonant Evil, uh, potentially Starcraft, um. Witcher, maybe, maybe, because I do like the Witcher, but like, yeah, I don't know what it is, but this bio, this like Resident Evil one is sick, so good chance, I have a couple of different PS5 controllers, but I have my purple one I bought specifically for the channel, but um, I'm willing to, I can do the purple shell, the full housing, the atomic purple, I don't, I think their purple is a little too bright though like it's too light the, ooh, this matte black looks pretty good okay let's look at these so yeah we've already looked at this one it should work with all three of those should be good I think that's probably what I have 
And then um, Chameleon, which is just replacing the um, the one area, which not bad. Then you, this blue nebula does look really pretty, but I'd probably stick with the other ones. This one, people don't like me here saying this. This one right here, it it looks cheap. I'll be honest. Um, it's I like atomic purple kind of. And I've said this on and off for some time. It makes everything. Like, because I had some cheap purple items back in the day, like stuff that you could hold in your hand and all that, and they broke so easily. That's what this reminds me of. Old third-party controllers that would break really easily and weren't worth the money in the end. Doesn't mean that this is the case here, obviously. It's just that's what it makes. It has that, like, weird negative feeling to it. Um... Lojack, I'd dig a Boba Fett uh, Steam Deck shell. That would be sick, Lojack. I actually agree with that. Uh, maybe need a shell with user replaceable shell skin. Honestly, that'd be pretty cool too. Lojack, Boba Fett PS5 shell would be also be awesome. I, they might have one for that Lojack. I know there's a ton of shells now for the PS5. A bolt from the blue. I'd like it better if it was a bit darker. Yes. This atomic is also a little too bright, which adds extra um, feels like cheapness to me. It doesn't mean it is. Gaben, is it possible to ramp uh, remap the PS5 controller touch to be mouse touchpad for menus? Thanks. Um, it's a good question. With the PS5, um, with the newest drivers, let's see. I'm trying to remember exactly. So... They updated the support for the PS5 controller about seven months ago, and they improved some of the touch, but I don't think it's a mouse-emulated um, system. There I, there might be a driver for that. You'd have to check, though, Gaben. I don't remember on that. Dex Cyborg. Um, this type of cheapness always reminds me of the Mad Cat's third-party controller. That is it, Deck. That is it, Deck Cyborg. Um, that's it's the Mad Cat stuff. It's the stuff where, you know, you go to your friend's house and you're like, okay, let's play a game. We're going to do racing or something. Like, Here, you can have this controller. And you're like, oh, I'm going to get the broken one, so you're going to win every time? Yeah. You know who your narcissist friends were when they did stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> True Blue Magic, dude. They need a custom image PS5 shell option. Uh, they need everything. Don't we need everything? Edge? Interesting. PSP parts and repair. Oh, they used to have it. That is crazy that they have repair parts. Dude, that is that is awesome. I love seeing repair parts. Dude, I like Extreme Rate that they've been supporting a lot of these plays. I have not used the Extreme Rate stuff, but like I do like seeing repair pieces. That is cool. Xbox Series. Ooh. That's interesting. I'm a big fan of Halloween. That was an, that's an interesting choice. I am. Cyberpunk. Some of these are really cool. They got that matcha. Which honestly, this is a color that needs to become. It's a soft green. And it's nice. I like it. It makes it feel like look like the controller is soft as f. Oh yeah, they do have Steam Deck buttons. So if you just like the buttons portion, you can get just those. And I think when you go to buy the shells now, I think they give you the option of what kind of buttons you want with it. Um, the gold accent. This sick right here. This is where the gold's good at. I would totally rock just gold buttons with a black Steam Deck. It would look sick. I think that looks... See, see, having the whole thing just feels overdone, right? It doesn't feel good. But when you add pieces of it, the accent with gold, it feels premium. Love that. The, the original will not work. So if you buy these expecting the back 
pieces to work with the back plate, you have to have the new back plate because the um, old black back plate has them all. Um, it's almost they're almost like rivets. They're like plastic rivets, and so you can't take them off. The newer ones screw in, so like with the new or with the back plate that you can get. So that's probably another tips and tricks that I need to add. Um, like I said, I'm in the middle of making that video. So if you also have any tips and tricks, um, recommendations for shell changements and all that, let me know in the Discord. It really does help me. This is one that I would be interested in a little bit, but it'd almost be like the reverse. Like I wouldn't use, in fact, that's 100% how I would do it. I would not use these buttons, like the atomic purple buttons, because I think they don't look very good. Like here they do, because it's accented. Like some of the pieces, great. It makes it hard to see the A, X, B, Y, you know, it just makes it a little harder for those. But like having the atomic purple and then having, let's say, uh, like a gold accent or the chameleon or why, or just, you know, whatever does look better. Red is also a great choice. This type of red would be really good for as an accent red. So, um, Lum key gaming with uh, within Steam should be able to. Not sure about in Windows. I know it did it with Linux. Interesting, Lum key. I think you're right. Yeah, it was doing. I don't think it does it in game mode. I swear it doesn't do it in game mode. I could be wrong about that though. Or maybe when I was using the. It might have also been when I was using the one um, software. Um, I need to double check to make sure people can still do that for the PlayStation 5, 4 and 5 streaming. Um, that deck cyborg happened to me every time my friends and I would go play Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lojack, well, I had a Mad Cats controller for my N64 for guests. Uh, for my N64 for guests. <laughs> You're such a savage. Uh, a bolt from the blue. Full gold is tacky, but specific parts being gold is pretty nice. Yes, 100%. It's like, pretty sick, actually. I kind of want to do it now. Um, it makes it look good. I, like, I'm definitely not sold on the all gold. I just, it's, it's, it is tacky. It's just too much. It's too eye-catching. It distract me, but. Accent of gold, perfect. It definitely makes it pop. Gaben, uh, Lone Key, awesome. Trackpads can be really helpful for menus. That that's why I'm considering it over the Xbox. It, yeah, it can be. Both great. Um, my, it all depends on placement, obviously, with your fingers between Xbox and PlayStation Five. But if you're going to be choosing between the two, PS Five is a like is a pretty nice controller. I really like my PS Five controller. I have a I have one that's purple for my Steam Deck. And PC. Ron Key, welcome. Gold looks cool. Yes, it does. Ooh, okay. That's good to know, Lum Key. Thanks for uh, letting us know. Oh, they have they have game they have Game Boy Advance stuff, guys. Dude, you can get everything matching. That's actually kind of a sick concept. So you can get all your devices matching. It's also kind of silly, but it's cool. I like it. That is really cool. I Once I get back into everything, I will probably start collecting systems again. I've already started, but this would be... We could have some pretty fun um, streams with me swapping things out with Extreme Raid or something. I don't know. Um, Let's see here. I like their stuff so far that they've been doing. Ooh, interesting. They even have the controllers with it, too. That's pretty sick. Interesting. Is that, like, painted on, or is that, like, a... Is that then actually passed through? I think it is. Wow, interesting. With the kickstand. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. So it has the kickstand and everything. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty cool. I'm going to be freaking doing all the stuff. I'm going to be doing replacements for everything I have. You guys don't mind those types of streams, right? 
This one is a sick one. I like that. A little cheesy um, paint. I like think the, the, the painting portion, a little cheesy, but that is really sick. I'm down for some splatter paint. I think... I do like this one. This is probably... The clear deep ocean blue is... I like this one a lot. And with those colored buttons, oh, it looks so classic. Oh, it looks so good. Guys, this one looks so good. Let's see what else do they have. They have the chameleon one, which arguably looks a lot better on the Steam Deck. Clear Atomic Purple Rose. Not bad. This matcha one is also one I'm really curious. If I had to do a switch one, I'd probably do the clear deep ocean blue because with that, like, the blue with those colors looks so good. I feel like an interior designer right now. This doesn't look too bad either, the matcha one. It's got that softness to it. I really like that. Um, Lone key with Steam input, you can make shortcuts to make things in the mouse mode when you need with the joystick. Ooh, nice. That's good to know, Lone Key. So don't have to use uh, PlayStation 5 controller if you don't have one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, welcome back. Get that cast smith for you. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, man, I want everything now. I just can't go over it. I really like the way this one looks. I don't even play my Switch very much anymore, but like, for display purposes for the back, it'd be pretty cool and for a fun video. The Switch ones be a bit easy to do, too. Yeah. It'd be an easy stream. I'd have to do multiple things. Um, Steam Tech is very complicated. With the, uh, the Switch one, it does not replace... You don't have to replace the the front part, partially because it's metal. I, I, I wouldn't want them to replace that portion. Honestly, I feel a little bit more secure if they didn't. Or if they even could. I don't know. Um... Where do I go from here? I feel like there's something I'm missing. Anything else, guys? Because we can be editing this soon, and I can get to playing um, over on the Brink channel. We can be playing some uh, Layers of Fear. I'll, I'll add, also, as a note, I'll be adding these to my... If you have not done so, let me... Got it. If you have not done so, you'll find all my recommendations over at The Brink. Um, I have products I love, which is the Bones Coffee Company, Cookies and... I, I have... There's more there that you can get that helps me also. I love the coffee. Um, I... It will. It's not in there now, but we'll have a link to that in the description below. Um, yeah. I also have my video streaming kit, like my PC. What PC I have? The my Steam Deck kit is um, a big one. What did I just do? Hold up, guys. What? Oh, it wants to replace the image. Pfft, of course it does. Okay. So I'll throw that out here, too. I will be having a lot more stuff. And if you do plan on buying anything from Amazon that's Steam Deck related, make sure to check my stuff as it does help the channel and help me. Uh, that Cat Smith for you. I just ordered the Chameleon pur uh, Blue Purple Shell on Amazon because it's in stock on Amazon but not on their website. Yeah. They probably have to allocate a certain amount on their website and on... Amazon. Uh, Deck Cyborg, you're awesome, man. Making it easier for the deck community, and I really appreciate that. Um, I am kind of curious. Like, I, I am, I've been um, working towards hopefully um, getting some people on a podcast. I, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to do two different podcasts, like a Steam Deck one or a general content creator podcast or just a uh, a general guest podcast where I'll have people on for it with different subjects between Steam Deck games and all that. Um, 
toying around with that. What it would be similar to would be, depending on the guest, we would talk about that subject. So I'd start out with some small people and work my way up, hopefully. Not, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be everything, but um, I'll have some stuff to come out to see what who you guys would like to see me guest on. I still haven't decided if it's going to be one or two podcasts, though. Because I have a friend that I originally started Games Revealed and everything with that I th- think I'd want him to come on and talk about Final Fantasy 16. And, um, yeah. I'd love to eventually buy him a Steam Deck and get him the red one. He loves red. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to overburden myself again. Like, I, I was doing a little too much, but I want to continue doing some guide videos. Guide, now, you have to remember, guide videos take me probably some of the longest amount of time recommendation videos and um opinion pieces are some of the easiest like opinion pieces are the easiest videos i do i like doing them um and th- these types of streams like this are really easy for me to do and i enjoy them like the, it's not only about how easy it is it's also just like i like chatting with you guys uh that cast smith for you the jsox battery bank has self-charging protection for attempting to charge itself i think they all do I'd have to double check that Kes Smith for you, but I think I've tried attempting to charge my own battery, and I don't think it worked. My uh, basis could be wrong on that one, because I was curious. Curiosity killed the brink. Deck cyborg, I love to work out while listening to podcasts. Good, good, good. I do actually while I work out, I watch YouTube. Depending on which what type of workout, it's usually YouTube videos that are like don't aren't as visual, right? Um, yeah, I've been, I've tried doing like the, the podcast and doing like uh, all this other stuff and trying to do it with the chat. It's awkward to do a podcast though with just chatting with you guys and especially if I don't do it right. So I definitely want to have a guest and so, and it probably w- would not be live streamed, um, partially cause it's just, I live stream a lot of things. I might as well, there's some things I just probably shouldn't. Or if I do live stream, it will be eventually for like members only or something like that. Maybe we could always do, I don't know. We could always do members only. I don't know. Um, I don't want to put things behind a paywall though. So we'll see. We'll see. Got a lot of planning to do for that. Um, And what would you be more, I, I think you guys would be more interested in Steam Deck content creators. I'm just afraid that I'd run out of Steam Deck content creators over time or I couldn't get them to work with me in the beginning. Cat, I enjoy wake up with the brink as long as I wake up in time. Yeah, I know. I need to get that one ready. It's not going to be for tomorrow. I don't have time to get the the uh, moon-eyed people one done. I've been talking about doing it for like two weeks now. I will try as hard as I can to get it ready for Friday. And that one could turn into not a live stream. More of a podcast of just uploading later. I, Catlin, and I do too. Honestly, that podcast is meant to be, and it's going to probably go more horror esque uh, or true crime and all that other stuff, as it is meant to be something uh, not game related for the sole purpose that I'm not always covering games. I think that's another thing that I found that, like, as I was covering, covering more games, I got more burnt out. Like, with the Games Revealed stuff, I love everything about doing this. I like doing the YouTube channel. Um, but doing it 24-7 and only thinking that way, I don't work that way. I need a little bit something else. And that waking up with the brink is a great way to do that. Deck, Cyborg, someone to bounce off of definitely makes it easier. 100%. I bounce off you guys, but sometimes I don't mention your guys' comments or who you are. And so it causes a little, a little bit of a disconnect. Now... This stream usually does get um, labeled as a podcast. So if you have YouTube music, you can always listen to it. The new podcast that I'm going to be doing, though, will be on Spotify, YouTube. So that has Smith for you. A different battery bank I have doesn't have self-charging protection. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll have to double check that. I mean, that is good to know that has Smith for you. So, yeah, should I do multiple? Should I just do a Games Revealed podcast where 
I have a bunch of different varying amounts of pe- like just different topics with different people on. Maybe I'll just do that. I won't make it purely Steam Deck related. Because there's like other, there's so many communities, like gaming communities, right? I'd love to tap into a lot of different ones as I grow. And I like chatting with people. So honestly, it's, it's a win-win for me. I have to, I'll have to try it out from a distance because I haven't done it like, I haven't done it a lot, but it would be fun. My biggest problem is getting creators. And so I'll either, like, if you guys have recommendations for it, like, hey, here's the first few that I know that will work well with the stream, then let me know and I'll reach out to them. I have a couple of people I know that have been wanting to do a podcast. And so I'll try to reach out to them too. And if I have a, enough people that want to do like a, a consistently, so probably start out games revealed. And then if I have enough people that want to do a consistent deck revealed podcast, then I'll do a deck revealed podcast. So, ah, oh, there's the keyboard. I know that someone was talking about key, uh, the uh, portable keyboard. I really like the Keytron a lot. My Keytron is awesome. It has both Bluetooth and wired capabilities. It has a battery in it. As far as mouse, I really like the Razer Orochi V2 mobile mouse. I like this this mouse a lot. Um, I will be adding a lot more to these lists. So if you ever like curious about stuff, and you know, you can even add comments. Go for it. Add comments. This is this stuff is all great. So um, yeah, you can also see what computer I have. This, I think I mentioned in this that it's not the same. Yeah, this is the predecessor of the Creator PC I bought three years ago that has an NVIDIA 3090. Yeah, I do like my NZXT. I will say that. Um, we're going to stop this uh, very soon. I don't have this anymore. But I do like my WinMax too. Yeah, I'll have to update some of this. I like my WinMax too. I had to sell it. It's actually where I'm getting some of the money to get some more uh, stuff for the channel. Okay, so that is it. We're going to probably have to do one other. uh, We'll save it for like in a month shopping trip. So with that, anything else you guys need to mention? Anything else that I am missing out on, guys? If not, let me know in the Discord. There'll be a Discord. Hopefully, I'll get it in by the time some of you that are in the Discord. Um, I'll get it into the description so that you'll have the ability to go there. Become a member of the Discord. I'm there lurking. I need to go respond to a ton of people. But I do love the Discord, and I love people that are on there. And we'll have more events on there, too, as we get going again. So thank you guys for watching. Anything else? Uh, if not, I uh, let's see. Nothing here. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, everyone. Dex Cyborg, that gets Smith for you. Lone Key Cat. Uh, we got Gaben. Dex Cyborg, if I didn't mention that. Low Jack Wolf. True Blue Magic Dude, that Cat Smith for you. I think I already said your name. Oh my gosh. It's been a long day. Foom Booter, uh, Rachi, and everyone else. If I forgot your name on here, like if I didn't mention you, uh, don't feel too bad. You're a beloved member of the community, you belong here. I love you guys. Check out my, oh yes, Brian, also. Thank you also for becoming a member tonight. It does help a ton. And honestly, I just love seeing that little, I love seeing that little Games Revealed icon right next to your name. Makes me super happy. If you have not um, done so, I will be streaming this a little bit later. Let's see, let's just do, let me put it in real quick. If you go and join my the Brink channel, that's more um, it's more like streaming or my game related stuff where I play games. It's a little bit less edited. I'm trying to make Games Revealed a little bit like it will have opinion pieces on Games Revealed, but I'm trying to make it a little bit more of um, professional to a kind of a, a point where I I work a lot more on the videos and all that. The Brink channel is more or less like playthroughs, chats. Um, weird stuff. It's usually related to games, but I do have a couple things that aren't. So go check those things out. Also check out shot. Oh, my videos are shot. 
<laughs> also check out shopundead.com. You can find like the shirt that I'm wearing right here. I love the shirt. There is a 20% uh, discount outbreak. So code out outbreak. Sorry. It's all caps though. I will be lowering the prices. I've, I've managed to um, change the margins on the prices. So I'll be also lowering the prices. But with that, you can 20% off. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you. I'm going to be about five minutes. I'm going to take a quick break, let the camera cool off, and I'm going to go play some Layers of Fear in a second. So if you guys still have some time for me, if you still, you still love me, go on over there to the brink, and I'll be there in five minutes. Thank you guys. Peace out. Later.